Well, Vic Crab, I'm not sure what, what more you could have done today. You must be proud of the effort of your bowlers, but uh, they did everything they could do to try and take those wickets. But uh, in the end, a pretty good pitch to bat on, really. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, not just today, across the four days, really. I think um, as far as the performance is concerned, um, the sort of attitude and everything that you'd want um, as a response to having um, gotten beaten at Bristol um, it was exactly what we'd asked of everybody, uh, bat, ball and in the field, really. Um, they kept going across the four days, uh, right up until the, uh, until the sort of uh, finish just today. Um, I thought it was a brilliant effort by all. Yeah, but I thought you bowled well in 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 the, in the Leicestershire first innings to keep them down on that to to, to three hundred and seventy five. Um, just a word as well for Kemar Roach because you know first game for Kemar and it was it was lovely to see him sort of slip into fifth gear and pick up those couple of wickets as well. But he did a lot of bowling for you, didn't he? Yeah, and uh, not not just Kemar. Like like I said, the, you know the group. If you think about um, the fact that we'd lost the toss on a good good surface. Um, we uh, kept control throughout that first day and then were rewarded on the second day, um, uh, managing to sort of get the last seven wickets uh, for, I think it was around 160. But it was um, all through the work that they'd done during the first day, really, that, uh, that allowed us to, to hold the game. And then when we got an opportunity uh, with the bat, it was always the intention to go past uh, and go past significantly so that we could put Leicestershire under pressure. Um, but yeah, Kimar played his part in that. So, first innings and then you know he was more than willing and um, I think at one stage he was he was still trying to convince um, the captain to let him bowl but uh, I think we need to be smart given the block of games we got to. You mentioned the batting there um, obviously some wonderful partnerships Ben Folks and, and, and Ollie Pope Ollie Pope and Jamie Smith and then Jordan Clark at the end just just, just a word really on First of all, on, on, on Ollie Pope, he's a, he's a greedy little so-and-so when he gets in, isn't he? Very fine player, isn't he? Um, he's, he you're absolutely right in sort of pointing out his hunger for scoring runs. Um, and and he sort, of, um, sort of set his stall out um, when he came in um, to, to bat a long time and, and, and get a significant hundred. He, uh, he sort of made a point about it and was was honest enough to sort of say that that's uh, that's what he intended to do and he went about his innings in, in exactly the fashion that we've sort of gotten used to him playing. And Jamie Smith, the word for Jamie, great, great to see him get that first championship hundred under his belt as well. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I think I think he was with he was batting with Ollie Pope in the MCC game when he mm. managed to get a hundred. So that bodes well for that partnership uh, moving forward. But um, yeah, you're right. First championship hundred. It's uh, uh, you know, good achievement, um, and long may that continue as far as form is concerned in this eight-game block. He's a, he's a very fine player. He's worked hard on um, lots of aspects of his game, and his batting is uh, obviously one of one of his assets. He can't keep wicket, he's got yet another wicket keeper. Um, <laughs> but uh, but he's worked hard throughout the winter, uh, and part of the sort of challenge that, uh, that we as a as a coaching group have, have sort of put to him is to is to score hundreds and, and make significant hundreds. Um, he played beautifully, didn't he? Final question from me. Uh, so, the old cliche, an awful lot to, to take out of this game, to take with you uh, over the river to Lords and, and, and starting against Middlesex on Thursday. Yeah, absolutely. Um, uh, but uh, again, start of, the, start of uh, that game, this game's done and dusted now. Um, yes, we can take a lot of, lot of positives from it, but uh, uh, we must acknowledge that uh, we're going to have to work just as hard uh, when we get across uh, across the Lords.